Yeah, it's really cool having, you know, I've been fighting the sport for like 10 years now and I've seen so many changes, both good and bad ways. When I first started, it was, uh, it was definitely more, it was, it was hardcore. Everyone that did it really, really did it because, you know, they wanted to fight. It wasn't popular. You weren't out, you know, bragging, yo, I fight in the UFC. There was no money, unsanctioned events. We had promoters sometimes not paying us. You know, there was bare knuckle fights. I, I, I once showed up at a fight and they had a, they had a big fat girl fighting a white trash guy in cut off jeans. It's kind of like, some of the stuff you see is just like ridiculous. Since then, it's just blown up nonstop. Last three or four years, started making good money, but, you know, broke for a few years. But I was, you know, teaching jujitsu for a while. Before that, I was stuck doing um, doing moving service for a couple years, which that was uh, that's really hard. You know, you go and move someone's furniture all day. You don't really feel like going to training after that. <laughs> for me, I don't worry too much about how much uh, about how much people you know know me and don't know me. I just worry about getting myself better and uh, let that go from there. You know, like I have the biggest fight of my life versus Dan Henderson on uh, CBS, and I think you know this is the perfect uh, shot to showcase you know just that I'm at that level. The only way to be remembered in the sport is to go out and take chances. So I'm willing to fight, you know, a bigger fighter in Henderson. I'm just going to go in there in great shape and, and do my thing.